Tardif and Ruskowski. Ruskowski wants to go with Tardif. Tardif looking over Ruskowski. They get it to Fitzner. A shot. Run makes the save. Rebound in front. Heroes fail to clear it. Loose puck. Cloutier, a shot, fired it wide. Now the puck rolling along the far boards. Le Riviere couldn't hold it in. Shoots it back in. Tonelli breaks it up for the Arrows to John Hughes. He clears it on an open wing, and here's Terry Ruskowski for the Arrows. 12 seconds left in that Houston penalty. Ruskowski for Houston. On left wing to Al McLeod. It's checked away. Now McLeod comes up with it, and here come the Arrows. Lead pass. Tonelli has a breakaway. In on goal. Tonelli shoots. Broker the save. Rebound Tonelli. On the end boards, Ruskowski to Tonelli. To Ruskowski, it's tipped away. Shell is back on. Here come the Nordics. Sutherland with Kluche and Boudria. Sutherland drop pass. Kluche in a shot. Brindley's the save. The rebound got by him, but it rolls wide of the goal. And the arrows shoot it down the length of the ice now. Going back to touch it. Francois Lacombe. The arrows are called for icing. Houston leading 2 to nothing from the summit. This is Houston Arrows Hockey. second period. The Arrow is trying to stave off elimination. Lead the Quebec Nordiques. Two to nothing. It's Lund with Taylor and Hansis against Boudria, Sutherland and Miller. First period goals by Terbetri and Connor and the Arrow's in front. Two to nothing. Face off to the right of Rutledge. Now we have Hansis a little over anxious. I'll get everybody lined up again for this draw. Arrows win the face off. Get it to Scott Campbell around on left wing to Ted Taylor. What a job he did moments ago as a penalty killer. Now the puck centered in front of the Houston goal. Campbell breaks it up for the Euro, shoots it on right wing to Hansis, shovels it out into center ice for Ted Taylor. Taylor in for Larry Lund across that Quebec line. Lacombe breaks it up but fails to clear it. Lund got it into the slot for Hansis. It was tipped away by the Nordiques. Covered up by the goaltender Brodeur, and he holds on for a face-off. Difference here tonight has to be the penalty killing, Jack. And also the loose pucks. I think the arrows are on top of those loose pucks. Moxie uh, talked to the team here this morning after the workout, talking about that. If you want it, you got to go get it, and you got to be the first man to any loose puck, and that's what the arrows have been doing. You can make a mistake, Jerry, but if you cover up and you're alert out there, you can uh, take some chances and uh, capitalize by getting those loose pucks. Here's Lund on the faceoff against Boudria. They get it back to Scott Campbell, but it rolls outside of the Quebec zone. The arrows have to clear and get back on side. Here is Scott Campbell for Houston. Ahead for Larry Lund. Flips it down into the Quebec zone. Gray racing it after it. Bumped on the play by Lacombe. John Bernier with that puck. Gave it away at the right point to Scott Campbell holding it in. Campbell dumps it along the board. Just tipped away by the Nordiques. The Euros Larry Lund holds it in with a golf shot. And here come the Nordiques out with it now. John Bernier. Long drive from center wide of the goal. Rebound. Cleared away by the Euros but not out. Now John Gray moving to the blue line. He battles with Lacombe. Lacombe knocks Gray down. Now McLeod steps into Lacombe. As Boudreaux Gray push and shove. Puck is centered for Sutherland. And Hansis breaks it up and back come the arrows. Hansis moving through center into that Quebec zone. Going in deep. Hansis trying to make a play. Now on the end boards. Here's Hansis fighting Bernier for it. Here's Boudreaux on the corner. Just fires it down the ice. Quebec will be called for icing here should McLeod beat Miller to it. McLeod back to touch it. Nardiques are called for icing. 14-10 remaining in the second period. Arrows leading 2 to nothing. And a lot of hard skating at there. So Bill Deneen will be changing relatively quickly because... It's pretty hot in the building here. It's been a nice warm day in Houston. As I look around this crowd, it's funny in this building isn't it? it just seems to get uh, a lot of people uh, into the building a little bit later on. But uh, we tried to adjust our starting times, Jerry, make uh, the weekdays at 8 o'clock and Sunday at 7 o'clock to give people a little more time. But it's such a beautiful day, I guess some people just a little bit late in getting to the game. First, the big golf tournament, the Houston Open and the River Oaks Tennis Tournament are played in Houston today. 629-1050, that Arrows season ticket hotline. Helped the Arrows into the NHL next season. Lure away for the Arrows a shot. Hit the side of the goal. Rebound, Brodeur covers up on it. Play is called. Faceoff will be in the circle to the left of the Quebec goaltender, 
once again. The arrows leading two to nothing. Six, two, nine, ten, fifty. If you want hockey, come and get it. Get those season tickets. You'll help the arrows into the NHL next season. <laughs> Dory talking to Lacroix. He had him tied up in front of the net there, and Lacroix looking at Freddie. Freddie gave him the nod. Say, hey, I saw it. But... From the draw, Nardiques get it. Dory lost it to Lacroix. Back to Lairway in the slot. Now moving around one man. Lost it to Paul and Bordalo. Ties Bordalo up. Nardiques get the puck, and Fitchner starts out on right wing, bumped by John Tanelli. Now here's Larraway with the moving in around Dory. Larraway with Tanelli, a pass for Tanelli, blocked by Baxter. Now Baxter takes Larraway out along the boards. They get it to Dubé. Dubé shoots at the center, and here's Paul Popio for the arrows. As Dory is after Lacroix. Lacroix not flying. Here's Lacroix with the puck for the arrows. In for John Tanelli. Baxter breaks it up. Larraway after him. Oh, Baxter put a move on Larraway. Shoots it down the ice into the Houston zone. Rutledge leaves it for John Hughes. Hughes overskates it for the arrows. Flips it up on left wing for Tanelli. Now Baxter at the point, holding it in. Blocked by Lacroix. Here's Popeil after the puck. He's tied up by Dubé. Bordalo moving in front. Rundledge slides across to break it up. And here's Dubé with that puck. Centers it. Fitchner a shot. Rundledge an unbelievable save on Bob Fitchner. And a standing ovation for Wayne Rundledge here. And I'll tell you, Jack, it couldn't happen to a more deserving guy than Wayne Rutledge. One of the original arrows. You just love to see him come up there. He's played some awfully big games for the arrows over the years. And uh, Bill Deneen going with him here in the tough spots. And Rutt responding well. He's got a big body. And when he starts throwing it in front of that puck, it means an awful lot. And he's hard. He, and you know, over the years, talking about him, what I think about him as far as He's tough. Uh, he can cover a lot of territory. When he's playing out of that net well and uh, covering the angle, he's one of the toughest in hockey. 2 nothing lead for the Arrows with Ruskowski up front along with Lukowicz and Terbecci. The Nordiques have Serge Bernier with Mark Tardup and Buddy Cloutier. Ruskowski and referee Bill Friday talk it over. Faceoff will be in the circle to the left of goaltender Wayne Rutledge. Ruskowski on the draw against Serge Bernier. Now Lukowicz and Ruskowski talk it over. Arrows leading 2-0 here in the second period. A hockey game they have to win. Uh, Ron Foyt is going to throw Ruskowski out of the faceoff circle, I think. And Shella comes over to give uh, Ron Foyt a little heck. Lukowicz coming over as well. And here comes Bill Friday. Ruskowski, they just threw him out as soon as he walked into the faceoff circle. With, I don't know what the uh, linesman was doing, but... See, now they're going to let Ruskowski take the draw, and here comes Larry Lund out for the Arrows. Larry Lund comes out to visit with referee Bill Friday. Bill Friday is going to send Larry Lund to the Arrows bench. And the Arrows arguing it over with referee Bill Friday. That's what drives you crazy. Jack, I know it doesn't like the outside call. I don't like the linesman throwing guys out off the faceoff. Well, it's a delay tactic. Now, Bill Friday saying, look, uh, the last move comes to the home team, but the away team, uh, Quebec, did not make a move, so the Arrows are set with their lineup right now. Here's Lukowicz winning the faceoff from Bernier. Shella gets it now to Scott Campbell in the corner. He's tied up by Serge Bernier. Lukowicz with that puck around into the far corner for John Shella. Moving out through center ice. Long lead pass for Lukowicz. Down left wing in against La Riviere. Lukowicz, a shot fired it just wide at the right point. Shella holds it in. He bumps with Weir. They get it to Lukowicz. Lukowicz trying to make a play. Tied up by Weir. Taken to the corner. Roughed up. Play goes on. The arrows dump it along the boards. It's picked up by La Riviere on right wing for Kluche. Here's Kluche. Mark Quebec moving out through center ice. Kluche with that puck. In for Tardif. Breaking into the clear. In on goal. And they call it on the offside now at the Houston line. Fortunately, I was watching uh, Tardif break into the clear. Fortunately, Bernier was in ahead of the play on right wing. That's exactly what you've got to be careful with Tardif. He can come behind you. You've got to keep, if you're checking him, Jerry, yourself in between Tardif and the board so that he cannot cut behind you and break away from you as he did on... Uh, Tabinci on that last play. I know Tabinci trying hard to catch up with him, but Tardif jumped a little soon. That was his, his advantage and why he was offside. There's Bernier after that puck in the Houston zone, but Shella has it for the Euros. John Shella skating it back of his own goal on left wing to Scott Campbell. Almost lost it to Kluche. Tardif steals it. Tardif bumped on the play by Ruskowski, the Euros. Shella shoots it down the ice on goal, so there's no icing. Brodeur sets it up for Gary LaRiviere. Here's LaRiviere for Quebec. Standing back of his own goal. Ruskowski after him chases him around the net on left wing to Mark Tardif. Tardif a right wing pass, not a surge. Bernier moving through center. Bernier flips it into the Houston zone. In deep for Cloutier. Cloutier going in. Got it to surge. Bernier looks to center it. 
It comes outside the blue line as Weir fails to hold it in, made a good attempt, but LaRiviere has to go back and get it. Now to Wally Weir, fires it into the Houston zone. Rutledge back of that arrow's goal, sets it up for Scott Campbell, around on left wing for Morris Lukowicz, now to Terry Ruskowski. Ruskowski trying to clear it, LaRiviere steps into him. Puck shot to center ice, and here come the arrows. Campbell moving in on left wing, in for Lukowicz, the shot, for the rebound, and score! Scott Campbell! Campbell picks up the rebound after he sent Lukowicz in across the line. The original shot by Lukowicz was stopped by Brodeur. The rebound lay right at his pads, and Campbell cutting in off the left wing, fired it in over the goaltender to make it 3 to nothing in favor of the arrow. And a good effort by Terry Benson to get back on side on the play. A nice passing combination, and that's what we talked about earlier. You've got to be on those rebounds. Campbell throwing it high over Brodeur. That's a big goal, but you've got to keep charging. Scott Campbell hits first in the playoffs. Lukowicz will get an assist. So the goals are coming from a lot of different areas. Uh, Campbell with his first, Connor with his first, and Turbenchi with his first. Paul Turbenchi gets an assist. His second point of the night. Arrows lead it three to nothing on the goal by Scott Campbell. Here's Lacombe out on right wing to Boudria, moving to center right. Boudria shoots it ahead for Miller. Got by Popeil, racing it after it. Rutledge comes out with the goal to steer it away to Larry Lund in the corner. Now to Ted Taylor. Lacombe holding it in. Lund steals the puck. Lund for the Euros. Now trying to make a play with that puck. In his own zone in the far corner for John Hughes. Hughes in the near corner for Popeil. He missed it. Taylor with that puck. Shoots it down the ice. Going back is Jean Bernier beating Larry Lund to it. The Euros on top, three to nothing. They clear it to Boudria at that Nerdix blue line. He gave it away to Ron Hansis. He sets it up for John Hughes. Now back to Hansis. Clears it back into his own zone for Ted Taylor on left wing. Shoots it out into the center ice for Hansis. To pick it down the ice into the Quebec zone. Back to touch it, John Bernier. Arrows are called for icing. And from the summit, this is Houston Arrows Hockey. just bumped heavily by Warren Miller, and here comes John Hughes down right wing as the arrow start out with a two. Ted Taylor misses a check by Lacombe. Here's Miller in his own zone, shooting the puck to center ice. Hansis has it for the arrows, tied up by Boudria. Now Taylor back to get it for Houston. Quebec a little more aggressively here in the forechecking department. Arrows get it in center ice. Here's John Hughes around two men. In on right wing for Larry Lund into that Quebec zone. Now to Taylor, missed the puck, it's shot. Into the crowd by one of the Nordiques, Francois Lacombe, and play is whistled down. 10.09 remaining in period number two. The arrows lead it three to nothing. Quickly taking a look at the scoring. To Vinci from Ruskowski, Connor from Bopil and Gray, and here in the second period, Campbell from Lukowicz and to Vinci. So the arrows uh, controlling this hockey game. They've uh, given up the pack a little bit more in the second period, I think, Jerry, but uh, they've been doing it for, for the sake of hitting a little bit, and I think that can have its effect on uh, Quebec as far as their kind of charge they can put on you. 6 2 9 10, 50. the Euro season ticket hotline, a shot from the faceoff by Shella from the right point, stopped by Brodeur, and play is called. 6 2 9 10, 50. that Euro season ticket hotline helped the Euros into the NHL next season. I think uh, an important and impressive win by the Arrows would really help them here tonight. It would a long of, way to go. No, no, I'm saying if they had a, had a big win tonight, it would help because of the attitude of Quebec. Uh, they've had two close games here before. Uh -huh. Now the Nordiques clear the puck to center ice, and here's Norm Dubé. Two on one with Bordelow moving in. Dubé checked from behind by Laraway is going to get a penalty here. Penalty coming up against the Euros. Baxter holding it in. Goes in deep against Shella. Shella breaks it up now to Laraway and play is called. Baxter cut through the goal mouth and took a little whack at Rutledge. And I'm sure that will be remembered by the Euros. Shella is going to get the penalty here. I thought maybe it was uh, Laraway who did the hooking, but Shella is going to get a minor for slashing at 10-10 of period number two. Well, I think not a bad penalty really is. It was a two-on-one situation and a wind up and uh, in a dangerous play. The Arrows doing a good job of killing the penalty here tonight to see if they can continue. Well, the penalty was called well up ice before Laraway had uh, hooked the player. Shella had slashed. 
A Quebec player coming out of that uh, Nordique zone. And That's the lesser of two evils? Or? The major, or the greater of two evils. Uh, Shella goes off for slashing at 10-10. Quebec has scored six power play goals in this series, and that's where they've really hurt the Euros. And uh, the Euros know it, and they've been doing a good job about it. Faceoff will be in the circle to the right of Wayne Rutledge. Larry Lund on the draw against Bob Fitchner. Tardif scored eight power play goals against the Euros on the regular season. During the playoffs, he's had two, or there are six. Not and too shabby, Fouché huh? Fouché with a couple. Bernier, with Serge Bernier with uh, one of the others, and Paul and Boyd. Well, they're all out there right now, with the exception of Serge Bernier. But our ticket hotline number, add another couple of six, two, nine, season seven, tickets to the NHL effort. Faceoff will be in the circle to the right of Wayne Rutledge. Arrows leading three to nothing here in period number two. Now from the draw, Nardiques at the left point, Mark Tardiff, a shot, Rutledge the save, sliding across, rebound cleared away by McLeod on the inboards and held for a faceoff. Now Fitchner comes by, Scott Campbell and brought that stick up, but Campbell wants to come back and talk it over with Bob Fitchner as the Nardiques start to feel their oats here a little bit. Baxter floating in there with a little conversation, and a little conversation to Fitch and says, hey, if you want to go, I'll be there. And he has been, really, through the series. He's played well. On the faceoff to the left of Wayne Rutledge, it's Larry Lund against Fitchner. Now there's some Fitchner positioning left, going left on hand, there. A left-hand draw. He will be drawing back to Tardiff on the point. Pulling the backhand, Jerry. It's a little I bit stronger. wonder why, why they wouldn't let a guy be allowed to come out and stand up by Tardiff. That's illegal, huh? For the, uh, home, For the team? home team on a faceoff. You know, everybody has to say onside. It's onside, they call it. In other words, uh, on your side of that, wherever the faceoff is being started from. Here's Baxter through center ice. Shoots it down to Fishner, breaking into the Houston zone on right wing into the corner. Cloutier centers it for Tardiff. He missed it. It rolls outside the Houston line, and Baxter has to go back and get it. Paul Baxter at his own blue line to Paul and Bordelow, moving through center ice. Has Fitchner open on left wing, clears it into the Houston zone, drops it back now to Bordelow, checked by Scott Campbell, got by him, goes in deep against John Tonelli on the end boards now. Fitchner knocked down by Tonelli. Tonelli tied up by Fitchner. Play goes right on at the right point. Baxter a shot. Rutledge the save. Rebound in front of shot. Rutledge the save. They score now. Paul and Bordelow. Arrows stop two, and then it rolled in behind Rutledge, and the crowd is unhappy. Had picked up Tonelli's right leg and tried to dump him to the ice. Uh, no penalty was called, and now the fans littering the ice with debris. And I could see why they're hot. Well, Tonelli was in good position until he got moved out of there, really, by a tactic that was questionable, and then eventually that ended up with the, uh, the goal being scored. So the fans not too happy with that play. And you'll have to just wait and see what kind of momentum that'll give Quebec. It's now a 3-1 hockey game. 8.54 remaining here in the second period. The arrow scoring the first three. Now Quebec breaking the ice. Paul and Bordelow gets an assist along with... Paul and Bordelow gets the goal. The assist going to Bob Fitchner and to Paul Baxter. Time of the goal, 11.06 at the second and period. tend to see Jerry uh, Quebec scoring a series of goals, or quick goals, so you've got to be awfully tight on these next couple of shifts so that you do not give them any more momentum than they've already gathered by getting the one goal. On the faceoff, here's Cloutier. Now to Gary LaRiviere. To Serge Bernier in center ice, it's tipped away by Paul Popeil. Here's Wally Weir to Gary LaRiviere, and left wing to Weir, moving to center ice. Weir down that wing, moving in against John Hughes, into the Houston zone, knocked off the puck, Popeil has it, tries to clear it, gave it away to Mark Tardiff, now Popeil knocks it away to center ice for Ruskowski. His flip pass for Lukowicz, tipped away by Serge Bernier, who shoots it into the Houston zone. Popeil missed it, going in, it's Tardiff after that puck, trying to make a play, tied up by Popeil, Tardiff pulls Popeil down. Ruskowski gets the puck, the play had been called by referee Bill Friday, and the crowd is unhappy again. Tardiff lassoing Popeil in the corner as he tried to get away from him. Summit. This is Houston Arrows Hockey.
still on referee Bill Friday. Arrow three, Nardix one here in the second period. Quebec has just scored a power play goal, and Weir has it at the left point. A shot tipped wide of the goal. Rebound to Serge Bernier looking for an open man at the left point. Wally Weir, a drive deflected by Lund on the end boards. Now Cloutier centers it. Here's Serge Bernier on the near boards. Give it away to Larry Lund. The arrows break out. Lund to Terry Ruskowski. Moving through center ice. Ruskowski in for Lukovic across that line to Ruskowski. In on goal. Ruskowski shoots. Brodeur the save. Rebound. Ruskowski battles the Riviere for it. They fight for that puck. Ruskowski's knocked down. The puck is underneath the Riviere. And play is called as Weir and Lukovic talk it over in front of that Quebec goal. Face off will be in the Quebec zone. That Terry Ruskowski, I'll tell you. He's a key ingredient to this Arrows hockey team. Lukowicz walked, knocked about three guys out of position. Ruskowski going in. He tried to make the goaltender make the first move. Roger held his ground. He went down some. Ruskowski tried to put it high over top of him, but it hit the handle of the stick. A little bit of a bad break. Uh, Ruskowski, I thought, was going to just jam it in there and try and force it in. But, you know, you see that opening, and uh, that's the quickest way to get it there is to fire it for those hot spots and he saw an opening up high and just did not quite get it there there's a final from the WHA today New England defeated Edmonton four to one today wins the series four games to one and moves so, on to the finals so the winner of this series will play the semifinals the winner of this series will play against the New England Whalers I get a little bit of a rest, and uh, of course Quebec or Winnipeg uh, playing against uh, Birmingham, leading two to one, leading two to one and tonight in the first period. Leads the series three games to one. You yeah, had me a little bit confused. <laughs> I have never confused you, huh? <laughs> Now the Nordiques in their own zone. Wally Weir on left wing, shooting up the center ice for Serge Bernier. Got by John Hughes, moves into that Houston zone on left wing. Stops now, centers it for Cote. It's knocked away by Rutledge. Sets it up for John Hughes on left wing to Paul Trebinci. Trying to clear it, held in by Gary LaRiviere. Now Cote bumped by Ruskowski. Puck comes to Paul Popea, lost it now in. Tarda by shot! Oh, and it's tipped away by Lukowicz with a great defensive play as Rutledge was at the mercy of Tardif. Here's Lukowicz with a break down left wing. He loses the puck. Goes into that Quebec zone. Checked in the play by Weir. Knocks Weir down. Centers it. Trebenci couldn't get a shot. Here's Trebenci for the arrows. In front for Lukowicz at the left point now. Popeil into the corner for Lukowicz. End boards Ruskowski. Checked in the play by Weir. It comes to the right point for John Hughes. He couldn't hold it in and went up into that arrows bench and hit a player and play his whistle down. Face off will be outside of the Quebec blue line, the arrow is just a little off target there, but moments ago, uh, Mark Tardif had a golden chance, and Lukovic made a stupendous defensive play as he was there to rush in and tip it away as Tardif shot. Well, that's the kind of effort that makes a difference in a game like tonight. You've got to have that spectacular effort by the forwards. They've got to be coming back. Arrows have Lacroix, Tonelli, and Larway against Boudreau, Dubé, and Paul and Bordelow. Houston leading 3-1, to one, trying to stave off elimination tonight. On left wing, Al McLeod in center ice clears it towards the Quebec line, tipped away by Lacombe. Now Shella dumps it into that Quebec zone, going back is Jean Bernier. Up on the wing for Dubé, lost it to Lacroix, centers it. Tonelli, a shot blocked at the defense by Lacombe. And here come the Nordiques, a three-man rush. On right wing, it's Paul and Bordelow. Into the Houston zone, shooting, he scores! Right through the pads of Rutledge. Rutledge had it blocked, but didn't have those legs closed all the way. It trickled in behind him. And the goal by Paul and Bordelow is second of the night. Cuts the arrows lead to three to two. Coming over that blue line, winding up with a good hard slap shot, using the defenseman as a screen. Rutledge uh, looked like he had the pads together, could not hold enough. That puck trickling through with enough momentum to get across the line. So both those goals just barely getting across the line. And Quebec now has a little bit of momentum. The Arrows are going to have to take charge of this hockey game. They cannot sit back, and the next goal is going to be a big, big one. Wally Weir over at that Quebec bench yelling out on the ice at John Shella. So Bartolo getting a couple here, one in the power play, his second of the series, and his third goal from Dubé and Lacombe. That was a 13-24. Need a couple of goals here. They had a three-nothing lead. They lead the hockey game now, three to two. You know the hard, the hard thing about when you get a long shot like that scoring, it almost uh, ignites a little spark in the other team because they 
they realize that shooting uh, may pay off for them, and they'll start to shoot a little bit more. They really have to feel bad for Wayne Rutledge. Rutledge feels as bad as anybody about that goal. He should have had it. But he'll be able to convert it into the right spirit. Here's Boudria for Quebec on right wing to Bordelow. Into that Houston zone. Check from behind by Lacroix. Lacroix trying to clear it out. Shoots it to center ice for Don Laraway. Too far ahead. Racing in against John Bernier. Bernier tips the puck to center ice. Here comes Norm Dubé. Trying to get around Lacroix. He does. Dubé on right wing to Francois Lacombe. Lacombe moving towards that Houston line. Bumped on the play by McLeod. Lacombe dumps it in on the end boards. Rutledge sets it up for Shella, who lost it now, but Lacroix picks it up, gave it away to the Nerdiques Dubé. He's tied up by McLeod. Here's Andre Boudria. Rutledge playing without a stick. Rutledge playing without a stick as he had lost his goal stick, and now play whistle down. And from the summit, this is Houston Arrows Hockey. remaining here in the second period as you listen to Arrows Hockey on KTRH in Houston. Whereas the Arrows once led 3-0, they now lead 3-2. A pair of second period goals by Paul and Bordalo has cut the Arrows lead to only one. Here's Scott Campbell checked by Fitchner. The puck winds up into the crowd. Faceoff will be to the left of Rutledge again. 6-2-9, 10-50. The Arrows season ticket hotline. Get behind this hockey club. Help it into the NHL next season. They need 7,000 season tickets by May the 4th. And right now they need an awfully big shift by one of these lines that come coming out here with 5.55 remaining. You'd like to go in that dressing room with a couple of goal lead. Here's Baxter from the face off a shot. That's just wide on the short side. And here comes Hansis for the arrows. Lead pass for Taylor. Too far ahead. Going back after it, Paul Baxter trying to clear it out. Larry Lund holds it in. Now to Ron Hansis, tipped away by Fitchner, and John Hughes goes back to break it up. Here's Scott Campbell to Larry Lund. A pass to Ted Taylor over two lines, and play is whistled down. Faceoff will be back inside the Houston blue line. Well, it uh, couldn't be easy. You're not going to play a game against these guys. It's going to be easy. The Euros with that three-goal lead, and now three to two. Uh, I just hope we don't have to take this one into overtime. You like to <laughs> Immediately following tonight's Arrows broadcast, you can hear the North American Soccer League, the Houston Hurricane against the New England Team men We'd like to have them on time right afterwards and not worry about overtime tonight. Hopefully the Arrows can win this one in regulation time, but watch out, the Nordiques are coming. Here's Sutherland getting it now to Bob Fitchner. Could have been a penalty against Taylor. Play moves right on. The puck is centered in the Houston zone. Larry Lund backchecking, breaks it up for the Arrows and shoots it off the far boards down the ice. Arrows will be called for icing and and Baxter goes back to touch it. The arrows are called for icing. That's a bad sign as far as I'm concerned. Well, the arrows seem to be tiring a little yes, bit. They do. Uh, Quebec footing. Of course, the momentum has swung. And, uh, you know, uh, hockey's a funny game. It goes one way for a while. And obviously, they went the arrows way for a while. And now it's Quebec's now. It's when are you going to change the tide? When are you going to turn it around? And I think the arrows need to give themselves a little incentive here. I before they go off at the end of the uh, second period, they need a couple of good shifts. And, uh, they're going to have to get it. They're going to have to get that extra effort. And out there now, Terry Ruskowski, Morris Liquids. They've been skating well all night. They can do it for you. Nardiggs get the draw. Now Rutledge sets it up and rolls in on him. Sets it up for Shella on left wing to Lukowicz. Starting out, shoots the puck to center ice. Whereas the Euros were controlling that puck and moving out smartly, they've been throwing the puck out in the center ice and letting the Nardiggs move back in. Here's from Serge Bernier with a break. In a shot. Rutledge the save, covers up on the puck and play is called there, my friends. A big save by Wayne Rutledge as the Euros went to sleep and allowed Bernier to walk in off left wing. Well, the Euros just getting a little bit sloppy, Jerry, and Bernier was always dangerous moving in off the wing. Rutledge's well out of the net, and he was well out of that net to cover up on that one. That might be the big save that turns it around. The Euros have to get the pressure off of Rutledge. Get it down and put something on Dubé. Faceoff will be in the circle to the right of the Euros goaltender. Lund against Bernier on the draw, and this time the Euros win the faceoff. Here's John Shella. Shella fires it up on the boards. Ruskowski got it to the blue line. Wally Weir held it in. Now Ruskowski breaks it up for the Euros, trying to spit away from Weir. Ruskowski bumped by Weir over at that Quebec bench. It's cleared back into the Houston zone, and here's Al McLeod just shooting it to center ice. Serge Bernier goes back to get it. Here's Bernier for Quebec. Moving to his own blue line. Gave it away to Lukowicz, who shoots it into that Quebec zone. 
Going back with Riviere against Lukowicz. LaRiviere bumped by Lukowicz. Here's Wally Weir starting out. Shoots the puck to center ice, and here comes Buddy Cloutier with Tardif and Bernier. Long shot in. Cloutier caught by Rutledge. He decides to hold on for a face-off. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a lot of black on that shot in the glove of Rutledge. That was like one of those... Uh, you're not in too baseball, sure. you see a lot of white now on you see it. Now you don't. You're not too sure it's in there. And uh, Rhett was checking that glove. He caught it, but it wasn't uh, exactly a sure catch. But it looked like it was going to go over the net. And the main reason the goaltender would even uh, glove a puck like that is to control the rebound. And uh, he got it. Face off here to the left of Rhett. Larry Lund once again comes out to take the draw against Serge Bernier. I'll tell you one thing, Maurice Philly on the general manager and coach at Quebec, he leaves Bernier, uh, Tardif, and Cloutier out there, almost double shifts them, doesn't he? Well, they're good skaters, and they can take it. In fact, they probably play better. On the faceoff, the arrows get the draw, but now Bernier clears.